So anyway, guys, that's the streamer base version five. Now this will be the last streamer base. I don't think I can improve on this one. So that's it. This base will cost you about 50k stone, give or take a few couple, you know, a couple of hundred, maybe thousands. This is Prince Vids streamer base version five. Said it's the final version of the base. So we'll see how it sands up to some C4 and rockets. He didn't boast about it being safe or anything. He didn't say how much rockets are C4. He said it was 50,000 stone to build. Okay, so the secondary loot rooms in the base are gonna have these red boxes. And then the main loot rooms will have the yellow explosive boxes. So you'll know right when you see the yellow that you're in the main loot room. If you see the red, that's just a secondary stash loot room or something. Okay. There's three main loot rooms in this base. Three shelves with four boxes on each shelf spread out. So we'll go until you hit all three of them and we'll see how much C4 and rockets it's gonna take. I've given you 10 rockets and 10 C4 each. Plus mats and food and syringes and ladders, everything you need to raid. So go ahead and Grab all the gear, get ready, get the C4. Start scouting out the base over here. You can build up, you can run around it, do whatever you need, just like a regular raid. Okay, so it looks like the top floor is just battlements. Uh, these corners are, I guess, just there for looking down at the corners. They don't offer anything raid-worthy. These triangles are here, obviously, to make it harder to build up on. Just gonna have a look at the battlements real quick. I don't see any traps in these corners. It's a very balanced space. So there is roof access here. Yeah, there's another door. This uh, armored door at the, on the roof has another armored door behind it. So what are you thinking about blowing in? I think it might be a front door raid. Okay, so what you want to do? Throw two C4 in the door and see what it opens up? Well, I mean, you can see through the window. It's, there's another door behind there. I mean, what do you think we should do? Yeah, I, I think we should just C4 the corner here. I don't think there's going to be anything above here just by the way these triangles are, but yeah, I don't really think we need to full rocket this. I think we just need to see for it. Because we know we don't need to go right, we don't need to go left. The only thing we might want to get is the top, but I find it hard to believe there's anything there. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's just stacking. So we should probably rocket that out. That corner. Okay, some beds. This wall's at seven. Alright, got some doors here. Hatch. Mm. 
I think I see a box behind this door. The one at the front door. Just to the left. Just watch out for traps. Okay, it's a secondary loot room. Yeah, if we hit that double and the single and blow down as well. Yeah, okay. There you go, you got one of the main loot rooms over here. Two more left. Cool. Two more to go. So you got beds and furnaces down here. So C4 rocket. Wanna see where a C4 and rocket gets us with that? Okay, secondary. It sounds like you want to see for this. We should probably have a look through it though. Yeah, that's main loot. All right. Yep, that's the second loot room. So you got one left in the base. Okay, so we're stuck going up then. So you're gonna try and cheat that direction. Ripperino. Oh, hold up. So this hatch is the roof hatch, yeah. I'm slapping two C4 on this. Okay. See, I believe, yep, that's the third one. You guys did it pretty cheap, too. Okay. That didn't take much. I've still got uh, four rockets, two C4. I've got five rockets, seven C4, and a full stack of explosive. So it sounds like 11 and 11. That's, that's really cheap. That was really quick, quicker than I expected. If you guys want to come over here, check it out. Okay. So, right here. Um, I I would move this wall and put a door there, maybe only have like four furnaces here or three furnaces. And then I would try and put a loot room behind this one. Behind that one? Yeah. Let me see what it's... Oh, that's the, yeah, that's double stackage. Oh, that's double stackage. Okay, so that's why it's not used. Gotcha. Wow, so really these six squares are the only places you can put stuff. Okay. Yeah. So it's just a super efficient build then. Yeah. If you guys want to come up here, you can check out the battlements up there. It's actually really cool to, if it was an online raid, to look down through the edges. Um, he built some really cool areas right here in the windows. If you wanted to look down right here. Call it on all the corners to kill people. Honestly, if you're online raid in this space, that'd be quite expensive and really tricky. Yeah, that's that's true. I mean, right there. No, it's, it's still coming out. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so it really is just so if they blow in there, they can't blow up, which I gotta say is really smart. Uh, yeah. It pretty much makes it so you can't uh, raid from the side. Yeah. I don't know, I like the base a lot. Yeah, for a medium-sized base, it's pretty safe, but... To be honest, the KCMO one seems like it stood up a little better. It 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 was half as expensive. You used something like seven and eight, seven rockets, eight C4. And this one, it should be fourteen rockets and fourteen C4. You know, if it were to scale with the cost, because it's double expensive. 
but really okay it's 50k and the KSIMO one is about 21k so to be honest this one's a little worse than the KSIMO one if you're talking straight up ratio of you know stone to c4 to rate it honestly like if i was rating though i'd be much more likely to rate this one than the KSIMO one yeah just because it looks Cause juicier yeah, it looks like the person building this knows exactly what they're doing. There's KC modes if you want to see them next to each other. Yeah, this one looks a lot more noobish. KC modes. Yeah. That was the last video? Yeah, that was the last one.